Okay, so three more questions about finding the quadrant in which an angle lies. And in this case, just a little bit of different terminology. So we're asking ourselves, in what quadrant does the terminal side of these angles belong? And when we talk about terminal, you know, terminal is kind of the end. Um, so it's really just the same question as before. So if I find the angle 25 degrees, again, we start 0 degrees at the positive x-axis. If we do positive uh, degrees, 90 degrees will be at the top. So the angle uh, that's given by 25 degrees is going to be somewhere in the first quadrant. Again, this is kind of the, the terminal side. So we would simply say it's in quadrant 1. Okay, so if it's got 25 degrees, its terminal side will be in quadrant 1. Uh, let's see, negative 255 degrees is the next one. So let's see, where is negative 255 degrees? Well, okay, so we're doing negative angles. So 0 degrees, this will be negative 90 degrees at the bottom. If we go uh, to the negative x-axis, that'll be negative 180 degrees. If we end up at the top of the... Uh, positive y-axis, that's going to be negative 270 degrees, and hey, now we've gone too far because we only want to go to negative 255. So to me it looks like the angle would be somewhere up here. So this would be negative 255 degrees. And in this case, this is again quadrant 1, so this will be quadrant 2, uh, will be where the terminal edge belongs. So I would simply say quadrant Two in this case. Last but not least, we want to figure out where negative 580, uh, where's the terminal side of that one. Well, since we're doing negative angles, um, my bad x-axis, if you go all the way around, that's going to be negative 360 degrees. So again, we're doing negative 580 here. So there's negative 360. If we go to the bottom, we'll go another neg negative 90, so that'll give us negative 450 degrees. If we go uh, another 90 degrees, we'll be at negative 540 degrees. If we go another uh, negative 90, we'll be at negative 630 degrees. And again, now we've gone too far. Uh, so negative 580, it's certainly going to be between negative 540 and negative 630. Uh, you know, we basically need to go about another 40 degrees. So to me, uh, if you've gone around one full time, another half a time, and then just a little bit more, you finally, uh, you know, sort of went around negative 580 degrees. Uh, we've went around 580 degrees, but again, negative just means we go clockwise. So again, it looks like to me this would simply put us in quadrant 2.